This video is how to use Trust Wallet. Trust Wallet is a decentralized crypto wallet, meaning that you can take custody of your coins. We're gonna go through the app, as you can see right here, but also they've just released a browser extension for Chrome as well, which means that you can use um, Trust Wallet and actually link your existing Trust Wallet up to the browser to use DeFi more easily. We'll go through that in this video. I'll leave timestamps and links for everything else I discuss in this video down in the description. Firstly, we can get a new wallet started up. So what we can do is either download the browser extension first and then set the wallet up like that, or you can just download the application from your app store, both on Google and iOS. And I'll show you exactly what that looks like. So if you're on the uh, application, what you need to do is just follow the instructions and it's going to give you a 12 word phrase, which is your recovery phrase. This is the most important thing that you will ever get. This is your wallet. If you have that 12 word phrase, you can go and reload your wallet on any other device that has the app. So if you have the wallet on your phone, you can reload it on the browser. If you have it on the browser, you can reload it on your phone and any other phone. So that 12 word phrase is absolutely vital. Do not lose it keep it somewhere safe. I'll leave some links to crypto tag in the description as well, which is like a steel plate, which keeps your phrase. I use these, it's absolutely vital to have that. So once you've downloaded that and gone through the instructions with the 12 word, 12 word phrase, this is what it should look like. I'll show you on the extension right here. So this is welcome to the Trust Wallet extension. Go and download this in the Chrome store. You can either create a new wallet with a new phrase or you can import or recover an existing wallet. So if you have it on your phone already, you can uh, import that onto the browser as well. So as you go through here, you can see you can just um, accept uh, or deny any data sharing. Then you have to set a password. Now this is just for the browser extension. You have a password right here that lets you kind of log into the wallet. And if you spend coins, you might have to input that as well. You on the uh, application version, you can go over to settings right here and then you can actually turn on or off a password and face ID as well. So if you wanna do that, you can do that in settings. If you're reloading a wallet though, especially on the browser version, just keep going through this you can see you have to import your 12 word phrase. So like I said, keep that very, very safe. Once you've done that, it will say successfully imported your wallet and any existing balances that you have, you can see them right here if you've had some on your phone already. Now, this is important right here, set Trust Wallet as default wallet. If you're using the browser extension, you may have other wallets on here like MetaMask or something like that. Um, so you either wanna choose yes or no for this. Now, if you're using a MetaMask on your browser or other wallets, then they may um, you know, have some issues like fighting each other to who is the actual default wallet. So if you're using one of them, I would recommend just toggling off the others while you're using this one and vice versa. Firstly, we can choose which network that we wanna to connect to using Trust Wallet because it supports many different networks. It defaults to Binance Smart Chain because Trust Wallet is developed by Binance. So we'll see how to change that right here. You can go down to settings and then network and choose any network that you want. Now, if one isn't supported right here automatically, go to add custom network and it's gonna give you these boxes and you can fill in the details. What you can do is go to Google and, site and search how to add Optimism Network or how to add Arbitrum Network to Trust Wallet, or you can actually say to MetaMask because that's gonna have more details probably. And then you can just see the details right here that you add. Once you add that, just click Add Custom Network and it's gonna add that network to your Trust Wallet. So you can uh, definitely add those networks and change them here. Now on the application, it's a little bit different. It doesn't let you do that automatically, but when you connect to applications, it's gonna ask you which network that you wanna use. So you can come down to Discover right here and then look at some applications that you wanna to connect to, such as Curve or Yearn Finance. If I click on Curve, it's gonna go through to the Curve application, which is a decentralized exchange. Then you can press Connect Wallet right here and then down to Wallet Connect like this, and then it's gonna give you the options. You click Trust Wallet right here, and it's going to say, do you want to actually connect? You can see the networks that you can use. These are all supported right here. So all you have to do, if you have coins on one of these networks, is click the one that you wanna use through Trust Wallet, and it's gonna allow you to connect to every single application um, you know, with that network that you wanna use. If you wanna add a token that you can't see automatically, then go ahead and add that top right hand corner for both. So click add token, search for the token right here. Just put the name in. Now be careful because there's lots of different versions of tokens 
that you will actually come across. So if we search for Bitcoin, you can see Bitcoin is here, but there's also other versions, right? So you have to make sure that you know which network it's on before adding a token. Now, Bitcoin is supported directly on the Bitcoin network, as you can see here, and that's toggled on, but there are different versions as well. For example, there's a version of Bitcoin on the Binance Smart Chain, which is kind of a wrapped version. So it tracks the price of Bitcoin one for one, but it's on the Binance Smart Chain instead of the Binance uh, chain itself. Why? Well, Binance Smart Chain is a cheaper chain. And so some people keep uh, Binance, uh, Bitcoin on the Binance Smart Chain so that they can have lower transaction fees for sending it around. And you can use some DeFi on Binance Smart Chain, but still have your exposure to Bitcoin. So whichever one that you want to do, just be careful of what you're sending around and make sure you're using the same network all of the time. And that will prevent you sending one asset you know, onto the wrong network. Now we can deposit some coins into our trust wallet and there are many different networks that are supported. So I'll go through some of the options right here. What we're gonna do is actually use the browser extension to show you the difference. Um, so what we can do is withdraw from our exchange into our trust wallet. We need the address though. So I'll show you with BNB coin right now. Now you can see in the browser extension, it says BNB smart chain. Important with Binance or uh, BNB chain is that there's two different chains. One is the smart chain, meaning that you can use this for decentralized uh, applications, DeFi, trading, swapping, everything like that. That's where the most activity occurs. But also there is another option for BNB coin, especially in the app and it's just called BNB. You can see the difference here between smart chain and BNB. Now BNB, as you can see right here, this is actually a completely different chain for staking your BNB. So if you want to invest and actually stake your BNB, you don't wanna use it, you just wanna earn some yield, you can stake it right here in the application. For the browser extension, and if you wanna use DeFi or anything like that, then you need BNB smart chain. The difference is both of these actually have a different wallet address. And so you need to make sure you're sending it to the correct address. Actually, it's going to automatically choose if you're using Binance. And so I'll show you this. Let's say we want BEP20, which is the BNB smart chain. You can click on this right here, then click on receive and just get our address right here and click copy. Now, if you're withdrawing it from Binance, we can paste that in right here and it says the network. It will choose this automatically for you. And as you can see, it's unmatched to this one right here, which is the beacon chain. This is the one where you would invest your coins and earn some staking rewards. As you can see here, that's not the address that we've used and we can only send it over the Binance Smart Chain. So if you wanna do anything with your BNB coin, like invest or trade or anything like that, you need to use this one, BNB Smart Chain. Now, if you wanna invest it and get those staking yields, then you have to go to the app and as you can see, it's called BNB and you can press stake right here. And that goes through to staking, which I'll show you later on in the video. But if I press receive, it's gonna give me a totally different address. That address is the one that we send the BNB coin to in Binance and it will default to this one right here. So you can send it that and then Binance Smart Chain will be unmatched. So if you want to use and trade your BNB coin on the Binance Smart Chain, you have to have this address right here, the Smart Chain address. If you want to withdraw another asset to your trust wallet like Bitcoin or something like that, we can do that only through the application. So what we can do here is go to our application and then search for Bitcoin, which should be there. If it isn't, just tap in the top right and search for Bitcoin and it should come up right here so you can toggle it on. And when, when it's toggled on, just click into it and then click receive and you're gonna get a wallet address that you can send to. Go back to your Binance right now and click on the coin that you want to withdraw. So Bitcoin right here, click the address in here and then the network would be the Bitcoin network. If you wanna send coins from your trust wallet back into the exchange to trade them or to cash out, you can do that. So we go to our trust wallet, we need to click on send and then the coin that we want to send. So we'll click on BNB coin right here, click send on that. You can see there's a recipient address and an amount. So we can go to our Binance or other exchange. We wanna deposit this time. We wanna choose the coin, which is BNB, and then the network. Again, just make sure that the networks match up. So if you have BNB Smart Chain coin on your trust wallet, you need to check that it's BNB Smart Chain right here. Click on this and you'll get your wallet address right here. Copy that wallet address, then go back to your trust wallet. We need to click send. You can um, you know, send the uh, recipient address here and the amount. So if you have an amount in your wallet, just click send right here. Now that is a blockchain transaction and you're gonna pay a blockchain fee on here for right now on Binance Smart Chain or BNB Smart Chain, it's around 15 cents or something. So 
always make sure whenever you're transferring any asset to a decentralized wallet that you have some of the asset there to pay for gas fees. You need to pay some gas fees every time you trade, uh, you swap or do anything on a blockchain. So you need some gas fees there. BNB smart chain coin is the gas fee coin. So make sure you always have a little bit left over whenever you're doing transactions. Something that Binance and Trust Wallet have recently added for the application is Binance Connect. Binance Connect is a way to buy crypto directly um, and send it directly into your wallet. So you never have to use a centralized exchange to trade or buy. This is good if you wanna avoid that. I personally just would rather use Binance as the exchange because it's much cheaper and then I can do everything, I can send it out. But if you don't want to do that, click on buy and then choose the asset. We'll click on smart chain right here, which is BNB. And as you can see, it says Binance Connect. Binance Connect is essentially just using their payment rails to uh, take a card payment from you and then it will take that BNB chain, BNB coin and just put it straight into your trust wallet without you having to then put the assets onto, Bit onto your Binance, buy it on Binance and then withdraw. This is straight away. Now the downside of this is that it's a card transaction so it's a little bit more expensive rather than a bank transfer into Binance. But if this is your only option anyway, you can just buy it straight through Binance, their payment rails, and they'll send that right into your Trust Wallet account. Now let's go and use Trust Wallet for what it's meant for, which is connecting your assets to DeFi. I'm gonna show you this on the Binance Smart Chain, but like I said, if you wanna connect other applications and networks through your Trust Wallet, you can do that as well. I'll show you on PancakeSwap right here, the same as every application, you need to connect a wallet. So come up to the top right and click, click Connect Wallet. Really important, if you have a MetaMask on your browser already, um, it's gonna be really strange. They're gonna try and fight each other for opening up. So if you wanna use Trust Wallet, just make sure you toggle off any other wallets that you have right now so they don't try and fight each other for connection. So I'm gonna click on Trust Wallet here and it's going to open the Trust Wallet. It's going to say, do you want to allow it to read your items and everything like that? Uh, if you want to click connect and there it is you now have your trust wallet connected to the decentralized exchange from here it's going to be able to read all of your assets so as you can see i do have some bnb chain i think on here so we should be able to um, see which assets that we have so as an example we can go to swap and it should be able to read the assets that i have in my um in my wallet right so as you can see i've got a balance of 0.1 one two bnb coin in there and now i can go ahead and do anything i want with it like trade it for us dollars or something else so i've got that balance in here and i've got uh, another coin that we want to uh, trade it into for example busd binance us dollar that stable coin so let's say we want to 0.05 we want to swap that amount you can see that 0.05 bnb works out at around 15 dollars so what we can do now is just click on swap and the Trust Wallet app is obviously going to swap that for us. So if we click on swap right here, your Trust Wallet's gonna come up in the top right hand corner and it's gonna say, do you accept this transaction? Click accept and trade. Now, if it's the first time you've connected your Trust Wallet to PancakeSwap, you may have to go through two transactions. One is to approve the smart contracts that are here. So you'll have to do that. And then you'll have to go through and swap again and actually swap the coins. Um, that's if you're doing it for the first time. So you can connect your Trust Wallet to any application, make sure you're on the right network that is supported and it will see all of your wallet balances and you can trade them and do anything else that you want with them. You don't need the wallet extension to actually link up to DeFi though. You can do it with the app through two different ways. The first way is to go through Wallet Connect. So I'm gonna to go to settings here. You can see Wallet Connect right here. We can actually link up our wallet from our phone and accept and approve everything from our phone wherever we are. So if you go back to an application like this and you wanna connect your wallet, I'll just go through to the homepage, click up here. I'm just gonna disconnect wallet right now. And then I'm gonna to go to connect wallet again. If you click down here on more and then go to Wallet Connect, it's gonna give you a QR code. Now what you can do is go back to your phone and click Wallet Connect. It's gonna open up your uh, camera app and you can scan this code. Now what it will do is link up your Trust Wallet with the application directly in your phone. And then every time that you wanna swap or interact with a smart contract, you can actually approve that directly on your phone. This lets you link up with any DeFi application. Now, the other way to do this is just go to browser or discover. So I'll show you discover right here. And you can see if we scroll down, there's some DeFi applications that we can actually 
um, you know, interact with. So if I go to see all, you can see them here. If I go to browser, you can search for the URL. So if you want to use PancakeSwap, go to PancakeSwap right here in this browser, and it's going to link up your wallet directly in the browser right here with PancakeSwap as well. So it's essentially doing all of the same thing. It depends if you want to use it on your phone, on the computer, or if you want to do both. You can do all things all at once, depending on which one you want to do. You may have heard that you can stake BNB coin through Trust Wallet to earn some yield and staking rewards, and that is true. You can't use the browser version for this at the moment. It's not supported. It may be in the future, but not right now. So what we can do is come to our application. And like I said, there's two versions of BNB coin, the Smart Chain version and the staking version. If you want to stake, come down to BNB here, the non-smart chain version, click this and then click on stake in the top right. So we'll click stake. Now you can stake here. What you have to do is get this version of BNB coin into your wallet. So come over to your Binance and you wanna withdraw that. But remember the network that we're using is BNB beacon chain. So when you go over to your application, you wanna press receive right here. It's gonna give you an address and that's the beacon chain, beacon chain address click that to copy, go to your Binance and withdraw and use the beacon chain. That's if you want to stake BNB and not use it at all in DeFi. What we can do once we've done that withdrawal is then go back to the app, click stake, and then just click on stake right here down at the bottom. And it's going to give you a validator to choose. Choose the amount of BNB that you want to stake, click on the validator right here. Now, all of these for the most part are going to be absolutely fine. Just choose the one that gives you the best yield most consistently. Right, so whether it's Legend or whether it's Avengers or whatever it is, just choose one that is staking and is paying a good yield out around about 5% right now. Just click it and then you can just go to next and stake. Now, as you can see here, there, there's a seven day lockup. So if you invest and actually want to stake, you have to lock up your coins for seven days. If you want to withdraw, go back to this option. It will say withdraw right here and then you click withdraw, but you have to wait seven days. There is another way to stake BNB though, so I'll show you that now. It's actually a way to stake without any lockup. This is a kind of new invention that's happened recently, which is called a staking derivative. So what you can actually do is just use the Binance smart chain itself and not have to lock up your coins. So if you do have some BNB coin in your trust wallet, you can actually swap that BNB coin into another version of BNB that is a staking coin, but you don't have to lock up your coins. So I'll just show you that if you have some BNB coin in your account, what you can do is swap it for this other coin and I'll show you here. So we can go to this and then we can go, we can go to a staking derivative, a BNB C and a BNB B. These are staking derivatives, which means that they accrue the staking rewards, just like uh, if you are actually staking, but these are a, uh, a, a free token that you can trade, you can buy and sell very easily. So if I wanna swap my BNB coin directly into ABNBC or ABNBB, I can do that right here and swap it. Now this coin is the exact same value as BNB coin, but it accrues staking rewards right in my wallet. So if you have a trust wallet, you can accrue those staking rewards right there. This is on the BNB smart chain, which means no lockups or anything like that. Now this is run, this coin is run by a staking service provider in the middle of this called Anchor. I have a specific video guide on the pros and cons of this and you know how it actually works. So I'd recommend watching that and I'll leave that in the description if you want more info. Link to a Binance deposit and trading bonus down in the description as well, plus all of those other videos. I'm James with Money ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.